let's see one more type of relationship possible among uh, entities let us say there is uh, again employee entity set this is employee entity type and this is the employee entity set and there is department entity type and department entity set okay this is the department entity type and this is the department entity set now uh, there are many employees here right and there are many departments here and from the verbal description of the uh, you know requirements let us say you have inferred or you jotted down these few uh, requirements and they are like this every department should have should have a manager okay and every uh, should have a manager and only one manager should be there and only one employee manages a department right so what does it mean now for every department one of the employee is going to act as a manager right and uh, so therefore whenever you see this managers right the word managers the verb you will understand that there has to be a relationship and now this relationship is nothing but a association right so we are going to create a relationship and the name of the relationship is managers managers right so employee managers department right so why did i write this uh, managers the name just it has to be readable and meaningful that's it you can come up with any name right but then come with meaningful names right and now there are various uh, relationships and every relationship is nothing but a association between these two right so uh, for every department there has to be a manager right let us say there are four departments and for depart department D1, department D2, department D3, department D4. And for department D1, it is being managed by employee E1. Then this particular relationship is going to have, you know, association between this uh, particular entity and this particular entity. Right. So what is the meaning of it? Employee E1 manages department D1. And employee e2 say is managing department d2 right and some employee other e, right and now it is like this e1 e2 e3 e4 four departments are managed by four different employees and well, let's add one more constraint that any employee can manage only one one department which means one employee only one employee manages a department and and an employee can manage only one department right so if this is the case then no two employees are going to no no one employee is never going to manage two departments right now let's see various factors here so what can you say about the degree of the relationship what about the degree how many entities are participating two entities so one question is what is the degree right degree is two then what about the cardinality cardinality is maximum number of relationships in which each entity can participate or in which an entity can participate so what is the maximum number of relationships in which this entity can participate only one right why because an employee i know uh, an employee can manage only one department therefore the maximum number of relationships one entity here can participate is one what about this one a department you know has to be managed by at least one and exactly one employee right that is what is said so an, a department has to be managed by at least one and exactly one employee and so the maximum cardinality is one so cardinality itself means the maximum number right so the cardinality here is 1 and the cardinality here is 1 right this is the cardinality ratio fine and what about the participation or existence so participation or existence is the minimum number of uh, relationships any entity can participate if you watch this there is no uh, there is no hard and fast rule that every employee has to manage a department right 
there can be employees who are not managers right in that case what happens there will be some uh, some entities who will never uh, participate in any relationship therefore what is the minimum number of relationships an entity here can participate in a relationship zero right so minimum number of relationships an entity can participate is zero what about this one the minimum number of relationships an entity can participate and department entity can participate um, i told you that every department has to have an employee right a manager therefore if there is if there is a department there will definitely be a manager who is managing it otherwise such a department will not exist right that is called as existent constraint or you know participation so what is the participation here one it means that every department should have a manager right now let's see how to represent it in both the ways so one way is uh, that single line double line this is employee and this is uh, managers and this is department right so i told you how to write the cardinality ratio so i'm i'm writing single line double line okay how to write the cardinality ratio whatever is the actual number you just reverse it and then you write it okay so what is it it actually one to one one to one so it doesn't matter right one here and one here it is a one to one relationship the reason is maximum cardinality is one and one you got it and what about the minimum every employee need not participate uh, you know in the relationship but every department has to participate in the relationship therefore total participation is here partial participation is here whenever participation is one it means that it is total participation whenever participation is zero it means that it is partial participation right so here there is total participation and here there is uh, partial participation and this is about uh, one representation single line double line representation what about the min max representation so min max representation we need not use the lines at all i mean single line double line we can simply represent it this way so what is the minimum and maximum what is the minimum participation of employee zero what is the maximum participation of employee one what is the minimum participation of uh, department one what is the maximum participation one right so this is an example of one to one relationship right so uh, you know again i didn't write any any role about it right if you had to write a role what is the role of this uh, in this particular uh, you know entity type in this relationship manager so you can even have it in the brackets the role as employee as manager right and what about the department department as may be managed right and this is managers so names have to be meaningful okay so questions possible on this will be they will either ask you to you know identify the diagram representing this in any of these forms or they will ask you what is the cardinality of this and that right or they will ask you this uh, single and double line something about this diagram will be possible right okay